So this question comes from Christopher H. So an update on my computer has made it so I get a message saying cannot connect to the proxy server. This happens for all the browsers I have installed. I did read somewhere that it can turn off the use of proxy through the internet settings. What exactly does this do and can it harm my computer or browsing experience? Very good question. Uh, this comes up a lot. So proxy servers, proxy servers were one of those things that were exceptionally useful and popular 15 years ago, um, and they have still stuck around, and some people use them, but most people frankly don't. Basically what a proxy server does is it is a server to provide you service to the internet. Uh, so before we had routers with something called NAT, Network Address Translation, built into the routers, uh, we had to figure out a way for multiple computers on a network to be able to access the internet. So what we did is we came up with these things called proxy servers. So what proxy servers would do is there as a proxy server, then when your client computer tries to get out to the internet, you point the, the client computer at the proxy server, the proxy server then goes out to the internet for you, grabs the information, pulls it in the proxy server, and then redirects it to you. Um, now this may sound archaic, and that's essentially because it is, is again, uh, proxy servers for the most part were replaced by something called network address translation that is now built into routers. Now we still use proxy servers every once in a while for very niche specific reasons. Uh, so proxy servers are used a lot uh, for the hacking or the security community because basically you can connect to proxy servers on the internet and then use those proxy servers in order to hide your IP address. So if you're trying to go to different websites and you're worried about those websites tracking you, sometimes you'll use a proxy server or sometimes internally, actually a very good product that not enough people use, uh, you can use something called a squid proxy server. So squid is, is basically an open source version of a proxy server, but the really cool thing with a squid proxy server is you can do things like caching. So if one client on your network goes out and let's say downloads a movie off the internet, if you go to download the same movie off the internet, uh, it will be cached on that server locally. So you don't have to go all the way out the internet to grab it, it will be locally cached. Uh, this is exceptionally useful. I used to use this in my consulting company for downloading Windows updates. So you know, we would have 10, 20 computers in a day that would have to have Windows updates pulled, well what would happen is we would connect them to the proxy server uh, and then the first time uh, a computer went out to get the updates, it would grab those three gigs of updates off of Microsoft servers, they get pulled down uh, into the computer but they also get cached locally on that server. So the next time a client computer tries to get those updates, instead of pulling them all the way off of Microsoft servers, they pull them from that, that LAN, that local cache, and it is just lickety split. I'm telling you, uh, if, if you have a shop where you do a lot of like Windows updates, really look at get a squid getting a squid caching server uh, because it would just Oh, it is like mind-blowingly fast. Uh, so the question then comes for you. Uh, you know what obviously uh, what I told you what it does and the question is then can it harm your computer if you turn off the proxy settings? The question that I have is why the proxy settings are coming up for you at all. Again, there are reasons to use proxy servers, but they're very niche things and essentially you have to turn them on. They generally don't get turned on uh, by scripts or anything like that. It's something where you actually have to go in, you have to do a lot of check boxes, you have to check off the box to use a proxy server, type in the proxy server, hit OK, and then your server will or then your computer will use the proxy server. If you haven't done any of those things, I'm a little questioning on why this question has even come up, why you're having this issue. Uh, uh, so essentially what I would say is if you don't know what a proxy server is and you don't have a use for a proxy server, uh, then yes, definitely disable it um, because you don't even know what it is. Proxy servers are good, but they're not necessary. They're not a requirement. If you turn it off, especially in a home environment, it, it won't cause you any problems. The only time turning off a proxy server might cause you problems um, is if you are in a business environment. And again, somebody like me has set up one of those cool fancy squid proxy servers and then you turn off the proxy setting and things stop working. But if you're in a home environment and you don't even know what a proxy server is, don't worry about it. Yes, you can definitely turn it off. In order to turn off the proxy settings system-wide uh, in your computer, uh, you go into Internet Explorer, you go like Internet Explorer, Tools, Settings, 
whatever. In Internet Explorer, there is a setting for that proxy server. Uh, just uncheck the box, essentially, and it will go away. Uh, you shouldn't have any issues. Uh, so that's the idea behind what proxy servers are. Um, I would be concerned. I would be concerned on your computer, since this thing has popped up kind of out of nowhere. This sounds like to me, this sounds like to me, some kind of weird virus or something, some kind of malware uh, where they try to modify your proxy settings. Because basically, um, if you use a proxy server uh, for your web browser, that means all your web traffic is going through that proxy server, right? So normally, it goes from your computer through your router off to the internet, to the cloud. Uh, so if you use a proxy server, it goes from your computer uh, to the router, to the proxy server, and then to the cloud. Well, essentially, uh, that proxy server then is a man-in-the-middle. So if you ever heard of something called man-in-the-middle attacks, man-in-the-middle attacks are where you can get your computer or server uh, basically in the data stream between a client computer and the server it's trying to access. You try to get in the middle. If you get in the middle, uh, you can do things like grab usernames, grab passwords, passwords, grab all kinds of information. Basically, any information that's going from the server uh, to the client computer can be grabbed if you get that, that man in the middle. So I would be a little concerned that this may be some kind of malware that's essentially trying to configure a man in the middle attack to reroute your web traffic from your client computer through their proxy server before you get to the internet, basically so they can grab all the information that's going in and out. So I would make sure you download and install a good antivirus, good malware, Make sure you have all your Windows updates and all that kind of stuff because that's, especially if you don't know what's going on, if you haven't made any modifications, if nobody's played with your computer, any of that, that sounds like possibly some kind of malware. So just make sure you check on that. So, uh, so yeah, turn off the proxy server. Regard if you don't know what the proxy server is, turn it off and then do a full tune-up on your computer because I'd be a little concerned it might be compromised.